A man by the name of Lazarus was sick in the village of Bethany. He had two sisters, Mary and Martha. This was the same Mary who later poured perfume on the Lord's head and wiped his feet with her hair. The sisters sent a message to the Lord and told him that his good friend Lazarus was sick. When Jesus heard this, he said, His sickness won't end in death. It will bring glory to God and his Son. Jesus loved Martha and her sister and brother, but he stayed where he was for two more days. Then Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. I'm glad that I wasn't there, because now you will have a chance to put your faith in me. Let's go to him. When Martha heard that Jesus had arrived, she went out to meet him, but Mary stayed in the house. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Yet even now I know that God will do anything you ask. Jesus told her, your brother will live again. Martha answered, I know that he will be raised to life on the last day when all the dead are raised. Jesus then said, I am the one who raises the dead to life. Everyone who has faith in me will live even if they die. And everyone who lives because of faith in me will never really die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, she replied. I believe that you are Christ, the Son of God. You are the one we hoped would come into the world. After Martha said this, she went and privately said to her sister Mary, The teacher is here, and he wants to see you. She knelt at his feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw that Mary and the people with her were crying, he was terribly upset and asked, where have you put his body? They replied, Lord, come and you will see. Jesus started crying and the people said, see how much he loved Lazarus. Some of them said, he gives sight to the blind. Why couldn't he have kept Lazarus from dying? Then he told the people to roll the stone away. But Martha said, Lord, you know that Lazarus has been dead four days. It will be a bad smell. Jesus replied, Didn't I tell you that if you had faith, you would see the glory of God? Father, I thank you for answering my prayer. I know that you always answer my prayers, but I said this so that the people here would believe that you sent me. Lazarus, come out. Untie him and let him go. Hello, Sunday School friends. It's good to see you this morning, and I'm glad that you're able to join me. Uh, and as you can see, I'm in a different place today. This is an old forge of some sort, where behind me you can see uh, uh, some sort of fireplace or furnace or whatever that was behind me. This is an old building that was pieced together. It's, it's, it's a style called cobblestone. It was pieced together by putting stones uh, on top of each other and filling them in with mortar so that it builds a wall. Look at the stones. Look at the stones that here. They're magnificent. They're big. They're strong. And yet, look at this building. It doesn't look like it once did when it was first built. People probably took a long time to build this and put a lot of work and sweat into it and it probably was a very hard thing to build and it was built to serve a purpose. I don't even know what the purpose of this building was. I just know it looks really cool and I decided to come here. But you know what I do know about this building is whatever it was, it no longer is. It's just sitting here, empty, hollow, broken. It's kind of like what was once alive is no longer alive in here anymore. Look at the branches and the leaves. And, you know, I want to talk to you about, about this world. We live in a world that is very beautiful. And I'm sure you love to play in the world and to live in the world just like I do. But we also live in a world where things don't always go right, where things don't last, just like this building. Um, and sometimes that can make us sad because we like things to last. We like things, uh, the things that we love to, to be around forever and ever and ever, and yet things don't last in this world. And so, friends, 
I have a good message of hope for you because Jesus Christ promises us that while things in this world don't last, if you believe in Jesus, you will last. And those who believe in Jesus with you will last forever and ever and ever. We have in Jesus a promise that we won't ever, ever have to worry about uh, losing our lives because in Jesus our lives go on forever. Sure, our bodies don't, but we are not just bodies, friends, and God promises to give us new bodies so that we can live with him forever and ever. And isn't that good news? We don't have to worry about one day ending up like this building because Jesus is going to remake the earth and create everything to be forever so that we can live in peace and in love with our God and with all the ones we love who came before us and the ones who are going to come after us and we'll be one big, giant, happy, eternal family. And so that is good, friend, good news, friends. And I want to just invite you to, to put your faith in Jesus because Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you and so do I. God bless. Let us pray. Gracious God, I just, I thank you for our Sunday school friends and for, for the people they are. Uh, Lord, they're just such a blessing to us, and, and we just thank you for them and their faithfulness. We thank you for your promise to us that we will live forever and that, that you love us and your love for us will never end. And so we ask that you make us a people of love so that we may love others just like you do. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friends, thank you for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you next week. God bless you.